All right, so we are going to go through an average day of me fishing, or at least I'm going to try to film more, um, like, of what I'm doing throughout the day so that you guys kind of get a sense for how I break down finding fish in the fall um, and all of that and, like, you know, the craziness that happens throughout the day. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. All right, that's good. All right. So basically, this is how it goes every every morning. Um, today, what I'm trying to do, at least, is find some fish. It's been pretty slow. We got a lot of bait around right now. Um, lots of peanut bunker, some mackerel. Bluefish are still around. It is October, so. For us on Cape Town, that is kind of bizarre to have bluefish around this late in as many numbers as we do, but you could tell me it's August and I'd believe you with how many bluefish are around. It's pretty nuts. This is what we're going to do. Let's get my gear set up and rip out and try to get into some fish. I think generally, like, the common misconception is you know, I'll go out and I know exactly where the fish are, which is just not at all the case. I'm going to be driving around and looking for them. I mean, sometimes you, you know, kind of based on what was happening yesterday where the fish are going to be, but nothing was happening yesterday, so I got no idea where the fish are going to be. So I got to find them from scratch. Which is normal. Um, and what I do to find them, what I do to find them is drive around and look for bait and birds and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. So there's another kind of interesting factor going on right now. We do have a bit of a storm coming in, so we got wind blowing out of the southwest at 13, um, which is going to make a lot of the stuff where the wind is blowing straight on shore pretty dirty, um, the way that it has been, the way that the wind has been blowing in the last day or so. So, um, I'm going to be really trying to find some water that's clean. Uh, I'm going to be trying to find some water that those fish are going to use to stage up. Um, and, you know, hang out, breathe, and find some food. So that's really what's on my mind um, as far as what, I, what I'm, like, actively going to be looking for. Um, and so... Yeah, that's basically where I'm trying to go right now, is trying to find a spot. Um, alright, so basically what I'm going to be trying to do here is glass. I'm going to try to glass as much of this as possible. I'm going to basically... Um, basically what I'm doing right now is glassing until I see something and because I'm by myself and I'm not guiding today or anything I'm going to not fish as much um, I'm gonna drive around glass and this is a part part of surf casting that I think people don't really um, I don't know maybe don't fully understand when it's like you're just driving around and you're not fishing like why aren't you fishing more you should be stopping in each spot this way there a lot of the time there are fish under the water that are not actively showing but they are feeding and so you'll cast out and they'll fly out of the water and hit your plug but 
there's a good percentage of the time where you have fish that are not that are not feeding and well what am I trying to say there's a good percentage of the time where if you drive around and you're looking for fish you'll find fish in the fall because of all the bait that's around you have stuff that is you know flapping around you got the birds you can see in the water and see what's going on and so it being able to drive around and wait and wait until you see something will give you will give you a better chance of running into some fish so basically what I'm trying to say is I'm I'm driving around until I see something that looks interesting and then I'm gonna get out and cast at it but until then I'm not going to get out and cast and generally what I'll try to do is I'll fish in the mornings and then I will try to you know depending on what the tides doing in the fall if it's really quiet I'll generally do work and wait for the tide to change and then once the tide changes then I'll come back out and I'll try to do some more fishing and see if I can't get into get into anything so um, right now we're just driving around trying to glass trying to see if we can't find any fish that are um, breaking the surface is basically what I'm looking for right now so we're gonna drive around a bit and if that doesn't work then we're gonna go get some coffee with the other guys other surfcasters it's the weekend so there'll be other surfcasters out that want to get some coffee and so that's what we're gonna do after this if we can't find anything um, and right now it's looking real quiet all right, shit flapping around out here. I just don't know if they're, there's birds flapping. I just don't know if they're actually onto anything right now. This is the question. In the spot that they're at, it was a mother of a walk to get out there. So I'm like not too keen on going all the way the hell out there unless shit is really going down. I'm not just gonna go out for some maybe fish. Like there's gotta be there's gotta be some something happening. This would be the glassing part of the glassing. Be using my binoculars to see if I can't see a definitive bass jump out of the water while there's a shitload of birds just hanging on the bank on the other side. See like when you're driving around and you see nothing all day and then you go and you see birds hanging out on a bank, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go cast where that is because there's a chance that the bass just did something there and they're just hanging out. So like if I was doing nothing today which it's still early, so we could definitely do a lot today, and it's been more of an afternoon thing anyway. Um, I would go and probably take a cast over there. Yeah, there's so many birds just chilling out there. I mean, is there a guy fishing out there right now? Yeah, I think there's a dude fishing out there. Which is kind of wild, but I guess it is the weekend after all. Yeah, and so it's still pretty dark because number one, it's the weekend, or number one, it's clouding. Wow, it's still pretty dark, but because number one, it's cloudy, but number two, it's only seven in the morning, so it's just starting to get you know a little brighter out. I didn't see a whole hell of a lot there. I mean, there was a little more promising, but it wasn't even like, nothing to get me too, too excited. I want something that I'm like, oh yeah, that's fish for sure. I don't care where it is either. I'll go fish in the goddamn harbor for them if they're breaking the surface. Oh, and look who it is. Steve is right here, I didn't even know. The question is where? Where is Steve at? Steve wasn't there. I thought he was. He's you probably saw what I saw. Come on, car. Okay, turn on. See if we can't find Steve. 
Anything? I plugged the whole fucking life. Plus I... <clears throat> yeah. That's brutal. As Bobby would say. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just looked. Went this way. Yeah, Jamie. Oh, nothing there. Robbie got a couple schoolies at again. Uh, then he was going to but I didn't hear back yet. Yep. I don't know. Fuck. Do you want to ride back to your car? No, 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 no. I need to walk. <laughs> Give it some of this weight. Um, I'm probably going to go grab a coffee. Yeah, I will too. I'll probably head to the boulevard. All right. Fuck. <laughs> Looked like such a nice one. Did you I didn't quite make it that far. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't like you. Yeah, I'll see you. whole lot of nothing getting a whole lot of nothing going to grab a coffee and go to the boulevard those are that's what we're doing so she's warming up the fat lady's warming up yeah you know that when they said that yeah okay no, I, know, I, know I what figured you the young guys wouldn't understand Italian that. Opportunity. yeah yeah it's over well my favorite part was the text message <laughs> Your text message in the group. Today? Yeah. What did I say? Oh, the fat lady's going to sing, and then you sent <laughs> that. I don't even remember what I said. Uh, is warming up. The fat uh, lady's warming up. Right. That's what I said, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's over. A couple little small squid right down there. Just Is there? Little squid. No, they left now. But oh. They were, yeah. So, I mean, there's still squid around. I thought it's going to I mean, think about this, right? Yeah. This is supposed to be one of the prime months mm -hmm. for the for the fall thing, and we're down the fucking fish wharf watching them catch little fucking mackerels. <laughs> <laughs> so, they had jacks down there, too? They had a couple of jacks, right? I guess. That's what... Did the scientist guy say what they were? I yeah. thought, I thought, uh... I don't know if he got back to Steve. Probably fucking, <clears throat> it would have been hard to try. To you blew that up. No. <clears throat> when did he get that? That was... Was I there? Yeah, I think you took the picture. Is that a blue one? No. That's blown up. No, it's not. I'll show you. It's like, a, like a, some type of Jack, yeah. Jack yeah. LaValle, yeah. a blue one of us. That's yeah. what I was saying. Jack my ass. I think, uh, Bobby Hunter's Would you take pictures of donuts? The glazed stick. Yeah. Glazed stick, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he never heard of it before. I told him to get me one. I thought he was fucking with me. I was like, what? Years ago, they called them crawlers. Crawlers, yeah. Yeah. Look at this thing. You want what, half? No, what is it? Bagel? Uh, it's, it's a bagel. Holy shit. Is that cucumbers on it? On it, one. Yeah. I it's like a gourmet fucking, uh, That's like a Chicago hot dog. Yeah, yeah, right. Gourmet fucking sandwich. She goes, I. Uh, no, that's I, too much for me. I don't have any veggie oh, cream chicken. cheese. Too much for me. I don't have any veggie cream cheese. I'll put some chopped veggies on. Bring it home and eat it for lunch. Oh, good, you might yeah. yeah. You won't have to. You won't have to have lunch after that piece. You know what? To fill in time. Yeah. I want Nick and Chris to a casting contest closest to the, the bridge. Two four. <coughs> Where is Nick, by the way? I don't know. I'm from Margaritaville. <laughs> he almost made me cry last night. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, you gotta be shitting me. What? Fucking grown men. He's the best. He's helped me. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> hey, he, from the heart, Rob, come on. I used to have employees come up, cry at my fucking desk and shit, and I said, you're crying to the wrong person. I said, go over the fucking HR hotel. I got no sympathy after fucking 40 years. Chris just do it right underneath the wood. How many points is that? I would, I think I'd take Chris. This veteran knowledge over uh, the guy who throws sideways with a little loop in his throat. <laughs> Nick? The pendulum cap. Yeah. 
I don't know. Nick's pretty good. He's that, the, that's the, the young kid. Thing. He, he's so good that he hit the fucking top of the wood yesterday. Yeah, but he has the balls to hit the top of the wood. I and he see. got it off. Yes. And then it dropped about half an inch off the thing. I know. I haven't seen Chris ever throw into the wood. I'm sure he has. What I would aim for is the big sign up top. Bounce it off that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's backboard. I almost hit the bridge once. When they were smashing under there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Loop it around the top of the oh, bridge. Oh, that would have been brutal. I could see where that could That wouldn't have been bad because I could have got it. Yeah, you could have walked over the top. There. Yeah. The hurricane situation is not as bad as they thought. Originally. Oh, good. So it's going to be farther out. Not as bad as Paul thought. Not as bad as, what is the guy, Don yeah. Ken? Don Ken. Don oh, Ken. Oh, my God. Eyewitness News, Wednesday, January 21st, 1981, with Jack Chase and meteorologist Don Kent. Uh, the Hispanic guy got sick, so his buddy, I felt bad for his buddy. He finally hooks up and lost him. I said the last one was a big one. And, yeah. Uh, five of the six were bass. Really? One was blue. Remember I said the last one was a big one? Yeah. It was 46 inches. The guy's, the guy's name is Winston. Wow. So that's a, he's a tall Hispanic guy. That is a nice big guy. bass. Holy yeah. shit. And he caught him. He says, they're not hitting. They didn't hit any top water. It was all, he had the soft plastics. Yeah. Yeah. He fished there would, a lot. Not my face. Face. You know who that I've guy is? Him. Yeah. Yeah. Winston. I know. He's a tall Spanish guy, too. And he had a white, white fucking paddle shell. Like, you got when I had So down aisles yesterday, Bruce, I was going to go out there. And so I was driving towards... Uh, and I look to my right, and there's pogies getting blown up on. Or in the, and so I whipped around, and I'm throwing the nine-inch spook out at him, and I hooked two, like, monster bluefish. Oh, great. But it's crazy to me. I'm like, I was thinking, it could be, like, you could tell me it's August, and I'd believe you right now. With <laughs> the bluefish that's Thank around. God uh, Steve calls me and tells me about this. Down Nile, so I went down Nile. <laughs> it, well, it was over. You don't miss many fish. No. <laughs> but I was in the vicinity. I could have just, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I was, tr I was like, figuring, I don't you know. know I, I would call you. I was trying to call some. I was either you, but. Is that, like, for breakfast? Robbie. Wait, wait. <laughs> what First of all, yesterday? it was you? me. No. Yeah. Yeah. You? yeah. And who? Bobby and Bobby Dan. Bobby Yeah. And Dan. Who's the guy? Wow. Who's his? Cripple Cove. Oh, Cripple Cove. Across the street, oh, yeah. uh, the Zeeks. Zeeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Come out of there, you're fucking on the toilet for three hours. I know, I went with the pancakes. I was like, I'm going to do something safe. I went with just a small regular because I was by myself. <laughs> Were you crying? I was, I was sad. No, the other day you guys were what, 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 down, down Magnolia. Yeah. I was, I, was, I was down... Far as possible away from you, and that was his fault. And he did nothing but complain the entire time. <laughs> what about the place? Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> you got to right. wait on yourself, basically. The gold was decent. Yeah, but the coffee thing. Won't they just you pay for your coffee, put cups out there so you can just get, instead of her having to stop and you know. Yeah, because then you can't get a refill. So the little kid. That's when we met that little yeah, kid. Yeah, right. He, he was down here and his rod broke in half and he had a big fish on it. That's why I came down here. Oh. And I helped him land it. Look at you. Yeah, I, I have no idea why. Because I, I seen fish over the, breaking. I drove <laughs> what over a good the guy. and I looked this way and I saw fish smashing and I saw you hauling one out right here. Yeah. I, I don't know why I looked here. It was my fault. And I noticed stopped. <laughs> I should have just disguised it and not done nothing. Did you notice he held it up like as if he And I got, five, <laughs> I got five that day and nine the next day. There you go, right here. Four on the See, first cast. I know how to get Bruce going. Oh I bought. I brought six plugs to the house. Yeah, left them for him. I don't. I haven't seen the kid since. No, they're probably still sitting there. I haven't seen him around. <laughs> the at kid all. lives in New Hampshire. Last he, time he's I a seen relative. him, he caught a fish. He was down on the rocks there, and he got got a nice one. Oh, good. I think it was his grandfather. Had to come down and was helping him on the rock, and he just got open hand surgery. Oh. oh. And the white and his the grandmother, she was yelling at him. Get out of there! Just had open heart surgery. Oh my God! Day. <laughs> that poor kid. The rod broke right in half. Was he crying? Almost. 
It was like... Uh, was his name Paul? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, jeez. Robbie, you're right about... Uh, yeah. Oh, the... the, the there's feet everywhere in the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> don't go on the All first right. call, Bruce. Yeah. Never go on his yeah. first call. But <laughs> so how many how many days do you smoke with those things? I'm just curious. Depends on the day. <laughs> Twelve I'll to fifteen. Rest out I am. Twelve to fifteen a day. Sometimes more. It keeps them fucking level. Does it affect you when you move? Not as much as it used to. I'm a smoker, so I don't want to smoke cigarettes. Is this your own? Is this your own shit, Sam? Whoa! Explosion! Harvest! Oh! Oh! In the zone! And they all had just made it. Get in that zone, George. My backyard. Who's that? Bobby. So I had to prune. He made the on the water. Did he? Yeah. The report is it him holding a disgustingly big bass? I sent his picture. It said he's a, such a loser. Yeah, guys, yeah. What a loser! The, the loser patrol. The loser patrol. I got a fucking great fucking idea. Thing, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. <laughs> I'll turn the camera off. You said all all good things. We'd make millions. Make millions? Oh, there you go. Millions. Just need someone to film. Someone to fucking participate. Yeah. All right. The camera's going. On. God damn it! Oh, oh what did it? Blue? Yeah, oh, I took your he took your shit. I took him underneath yeah, the he pile. Hit the pile and uh, fucking cut me off. Bastard. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Damn. Was it a bass? Yeah. Better to have had and lost than never, never had, had it all. It all. <laughs> Jesus, you get that? Yeah. Okay. Look at oh, Sam. We he's, should, he's pushing it big time. We should just go to the picnic. Yeah. Dude, I've been thinking about it for years. Film at the picnic. For years. Well, yeah. The first year it came on, I was thinking about that. And you know what will happen, Sam? Somebody else will Somebody steal my idea. Yep. say, damn it. Call my buddy right now. Tell him about it. <laughs> yeah. Guy in Hollywood? Yeah, the guy in Hollywood. There ain't nobody good enough to fucking take a junk and put it together. No, you're the best, no. for sure. What you gonna call it? Come on. I could get some actors to play you. <laughs> yeah. That would be interesting. Joe Pecci, maybe, or uh, uh, George Costanza. <laughs> I was thinking more like fucking Vin Diesel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. We're the fucking tank top. That's it, bro. Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> think higher. Think higher. Think bigger. Think yeah. bigger. Fuck Charlie Sheen. <laughs> there you go. Where'd that fish hit him? On inside. Oh, yeah. I think it was in way under. He threw inside. I think so. Chris, were you inside? Yeah, right on the end of the oh. pile. Right oh, okay. Damn. What did he have a snack? Uh, Elby snack. Oh. Elby snack. He had the white one. He, he had his oh, old trusty. He lost his old trusty. Shit. We had a little excitement, Bruce. Yeah. Saw the splash. And it's he... like Steve hit bingo at Denmark. <laughs> Night shift ninjas, such as Bobby Harnish, are fishing nearly the same water except with eels in close and doing real well. In fact, Bobby has caught 60 fish 40 inches or up while aboard his kayak in KPN this season. Well, I've said that in. Quote, unquote. Well, fuck Bobby. He took the kid for a while. But I'd get sick of it, too, if I was 12 years old and my father wasn't catching anything or I wasn't, <laughs> you know? Oh, Robbie. Bring him with us and he'll fucking still be fishing. <laughs> Uncle Robbie's going to get him on a bass. Uh... Or kick his ass. <laughs> right, you stay here until I tell you you can go home. That's right. Go down there and get my lure. It's stuck in the rock. Take him. Oh, um, I'm, I'm down here. I'm just throwing in here. Wait for you guys. I get stuck down there, right? He fucking jumped down there to get my lure. And I'm saying, what the fuck now? What do I owe? When he wears shorts, they look like my kitchen table's legs. <laughs> Except they're fucking white, white alabaster. 
No, he didn't get his tog. Anthony? No. Yeah. If he got a tog, we'd... Why, we'd... did he have crabs? Was he trying? I don't know if he got crabs, but... <laughs> Robbie, I meant for me. Oh. No, he, he doesn't have any crabs, I don't think. Is Nick out fishing? Do you know? That's heard from Nick all day. He must have slept in. Yeah, I think he's doing a Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Wasted away in Margaritaville. I'll text him, wake him up. <laughs> Call him. Call him. Okay, I will. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Nick, what the fuck? Get up. They're down the cut. Bought a fish. Wow. Some recreational guy. Theory. Here's my theory. I think that we're gonna get bass before the storm and after it, okay, but not right during. Before the storm, so. like a crazy character. Before yeah, I guess you're it right. happened afterwards last time. Maybe you know, we're gonna get really strong west. All right. The fish will weigh the hell out of them, but the wind was. Could happen again. We're biting up again. What's that? West wind. What's that mean? It means that, as Paul was saying, same conditions as the last blitz that we had. Oh, last storm, what we had. Call me when they Yeah, exactly. I'm going secret spot. Secret spot. Yeah, and then, go to your secret spot. And then going. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So basically, my issue was there's no fish this morning. As you saw at coffee, no one did nothing. Um, one hook up and drop, but I missed it on camera, which is fucking sick. Um, and yeah, so basically that's what's going on right now. I'm going to go pack up my gear, rinse it all off, and then I will be ready to go for later today. Um, well, I'll go out probably at low tide because the storm's coming. I have a spot that hopefully will hold some fish, uh, with these, with the wind and the waves that we should be having, um, throughout the day. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later today. All right, so basically we're going out for round two here. Um, I waited till the afternoon. I was doing some work and whatnot, and so now I'm gonna go out again. It has started to rain uh, pretty, like, I don't know. There's been off and on raining. It's from misting to, like, full-on pouring, which is always ridiculous because then I can't film, but we're gonna do our best here to film, and... The wind has definitely picked up a bit, and I have a couple of different, um, a couple of different feelings when it comes to where I want to go try and fish. Uh, part of me is like, hey, I want to go try one side of the of Cape Ann, and then the other part of me is like, I want to go try the other side of Cape Ann. But I'm going with my original gut feeling. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like there's a chance. That's what I'm, I'm going for. I'm going for the chance that there might be something on this side. If there's not, it's going to be a lot more brutal than the other side. But if there is, it's probably going to be a nice fish. So that's where we're at right now. I'm actually going to like wet a line, regardless if I see anything or not. I'm probably going to pull over and take some casts um, at a few different spots just to see if I can't uh, get into some bass here because... You know, it's been a slow day, but the conditions wise, you'd think there'd be something out, out and about because it's, you know, there's some sort of a, I wouldn't call it a nor'easter, but maybe like a northwest wind. <laughs> I don't even know. But uh, anyway, so that's where we're at right now. <clears throat> that's where we're at right now, and um, yeah, I'm going to try to go find some fish. Okay. Well, it's looking real grim on this side. I just, I'm really not seeing any birds flapping around. It's raining. Like, look at this. It is, can you even see that? Does that make sense? How much that's raining? It's raining pretty good. Um, so basically, um, I didn't want to drive from one side of Cape Ann to the other, but I'm probably gonna drive from one side of Cape Ann to the other to try to find some fish. Um, it's just the wind's blowing kind of straight in over here and man, it's really starting to come down now raining wise So I'm hoping that this is gonna Pass a bit here because it's starting to rain a bit um, a bit harder So yeah, again, this is kind of the reality of the way the fishing is uh, It's not always what you know you might see on Instagram or on YouTube where 
I'm hammering fish. This is more of the reality. And man, it is pouring right now. Big curtains of rain coming down. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that a lot today. It's just been slow and as Robbie said, the fat lady's warming up, so. Jesus Christ. Anyway, we're gonna try to give it our best go here um, and maybe wait out this rain a little bit and see what's going on in a bit. There's a lot of fish out here. I just caught an absolute monster bluefish. It was like the fattest bluefish I think I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap, they're smashing. Fish are smashing. Wow, there's peanuts. There's all sorts of shit in here. I don't know if they're all bluefish or if they're bass or a mix. That's a bluefish. Holy smokes. What? Holy shit. What the hell? That's ridiculous. I think they're all blues. Look at that. This is insane. Come on. Get this fish in. I think they're all just big blues. Holy shit. I did pull a bass out of it, but... Oh, come on. He's pissed. Oh, my goodness. Just not give it up. Come on. There he is. Jeez. Holy smokes. Literally, my reel is hot. Oh my god. Wait till you guys see this thing. That's ridiculous. It's smaller than the first one I got. Oh. But still an absolute unit of a bluefish. Holy crap. Get him up on this. Are you serious? That's gotta be almost 18 pounds, I'd say. Relax. Relax. Oh my God, that thing is huge. <laughs> Holy smokes. Do you see the size of that thing? Are you shitting? What does he weigh? Oh. That's a 15 pounder. That's nuts. 15 pound bluefish. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is gonna this plug's gonna get destroyed. 
I do want to get a bass. Wow, they're breaking right in front of me. There's bass right in front of me in the wash. That's insane. Watch this. Holy crap, there's bass in the wash here. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, there's lots of fish. Bass and blues right in the wash, right in front of me. Holy smokes. Ready? Come on. I need something a little heavier. Might throw on a popper. It's on. There it is. Whoa. Oh, a little bass. It might be a bluefish. I lied. <laughs> Holy shit. You might have two fish on at the same time right now. I don't know. We'll see in a second. Oh, crap. My drag is like real tight right now. I just don't want him to get a foot. I'd rather just land it before he really gets a chance to cook me here. <laughs> it's another absolute. He <laughs> shit me. Oh my god. Woo! I almost got washed away there. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> They're all like the biggest bluefish you've ever seen in your life. Oh my god. Are you shitting? That's a huge fish. Oh my lord. That's a big bluefish. Oh shit. They're just smashing peanuts. Absolutely smashing peanuts. I should get put on my popper. Yeah. We're gonna put on the popper in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet they'll get smashed just reeling it in though. Absolutely hammering peanuts out here. Hammering. this. Now this is what I need for a plug. This will get you pretty fucking quick. All you need is something that's going to splash a bit. If there's blues in here, they're going to wham it. Kind of cast it over the rock there. It was a shitty cast. It doesn't matter though. <laughs> Blitz. Oh my god, look in front of me! <laughs> oh my god, it's absolute mayhem. That's ridiculous. It's absolute mayhem in front of me right now. Might be a bass. It's gotta be a bluefish though, there's too many blues. Oh, it is a bass. Look at that. Nice bass. <laughs> Switch to the popper, catch a nice little bass. Flashing through the bait out there. That's just rude. Smokes. Cool. Feeling on the rocks. Feeling on the rocks. <laughs> By the way, my drag is super tight. 
there's bass in the wash, there's blues that are deep. Holy smokes. the fucking tuna holy shit what the fuck <laughs> oh get this part trying to land the fuck another monster these are all like serious bluefish trying not to get washed away too holy crap oh I'm gonna get hooked I'm gonna get hooked if I'm not careful oh open your fucking mouth dude You're such an asshole. Gotta be careful, the waves are getting big. Blue's being such a dick. Blue's being such a dick. Nice tide pool behind me. actually go back because I do not wash away here that's a carnage all right absolute carnage how tight my drag is right now. <laughs> Jesus, I'm almost getting pulled off the rock by this bluefish. Holy smokes. Whoa. Oh, push the limit. 
on the tip of this rod right now. Holy shit. So well, holy shit! Well, oh my god! Look at the look at the thickness on that. Holy shit. I'm terrified. Chill. You're going back, buddy. Relax. Turn. Turn, turn. I just walked. This thing's giving me fits. I'm gonna be so bruised after this. Pushing the limits of a man saw right now. Oh, I pulled it good. I don't even know if I want to hook up. Too there, I bent all my hooks out. Oh my God, they're just laughing the peanuts right now. Absolutely slashing. Slashing. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. I don't even care I'm not looking up. It's insane, I don't care. I don't care, I'm not looking up. It's fucking insane. I can't handle it. There's something about bluefish lifts in particular that are just next level. Oh wow, right in the wave, you just smashed it. There's so many fish in the water right here. Right there. Oh. Oh my God. I can't believe no, it's Sunday by the way. No one else is here for some reason. There's no bass. I mean, there are a couple schoolies, but nothing big. Oh no, it is a bass. There we go. No bass, but there's little ones. No big bass is what I meant to say. This is ridiculous. Big hooks on this stuff. So they're not bending out too, too bad. Little hooks in the pants. Holy smokes! Part of me is like, well, maybe I could go try for a 
nice cast, but I just don't think I'm going to be able to try for a big bass out of here. This is all bluefish. This is all big bluefish. That's a lot of weed. Just like that. You can do whatever the hell you want. throw out a Danny plug. That might be a, a move. Wow, little bass. Little bass. A little probably maybe slot, maybe just under. Holy shit. and blues and all sorts of crazy stuff. Wow, bluefish is all over it. Probably a bass. Might be a blue. Maybe I'll throw the dock out. I don't even know. Big scoop. Watch these things knock it in the air. Try something for fun here. Just screw around a little bit, just because we got the we have the fish to do it. Oh my gosh! The plug's never gonna look the same. There's so many fancy fish. Maybe this will actually call a bass, I don't even know. We'll see. They're just so fired up right now. To me, there's something just there's something about a big bass or a big bluefish. Smashing, smashing the dock out of the water. Wow, what a cast by the dock. Smashing the dock out of the water, that's just too much fun to watch. We'll see what happens, see if they do it. It's completely not matching the hatch, but let's see if they're that aggressive right now. They might be <laughs> that aggressive right now. Holy shit. Oh, we end up getting bitten off here. <laughs> Woo! Little bluefish. Holy shit.
that a bath? Oh, it is a bath. There we go. It's a nicer bath. Throw the dock out there. That's a nice fish. This is what we want. See that right there? That's what we're going for. It's like a 32, 33. Beautiful. trying to cull some bass out of these big blues. Proving to be a little more difficult. Oh! Smash! That's a blue fish though. Yeah, that's a blue. <laughs> you guys enjoyed that video I'm glad that we finally got into them there at the end that was pretty crazy blitz I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and yeah I'll see you next time <laughs>